Hey y'all, Zach McDonald, your real estate agent with Real Property Associates, and this is my Seattle Housing Market Watch for December 27th, 2023. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a great holiday season so far. We are wrapping up the year with this Market Watch. This will be the last one of 2020, and stay tuned. Next week, we will have a recap of 2023, as well as some predictions for the Seattle housing market in 2024. And speaking of predictions, one of my predictions will be that the housing market will continue to pick up and that the competition is going to return to the Seattle housing market. This last week, I encountered multiple offers with a client on a new construction house in Bothell. This community has had multiple properties that have been listed here over the past few months and all of those have taken time to sell, have had some concessions um, as far as closing costs and also a reduced price or price drops. And in this case, we were able to negotiate for our closing costs to be covered and for a small price drop, but this property did not sit on the market as long as the other ones and did not do the price drop. We got a little bit off the price but it sold quicker than some of the other ones in this particular community. And even in some conversations with a good lender buddy, he mentioned that he's representing a couple builders as their builder rep uh, on the mortgage side. And both of those companies have recently rejected offers below asking price that were, or offers that were asking for concessions, mainly because they think that things are gonna be getting better in 2024 as well. So um, just a little personal story here as we start off this update. And I guess there's nothing that exciting about this week's market watch. As we look at some of the data, we're seeing that there were 82 new listings in King and Snohomish County. Not very many. Last week we had 177. And it is normal during the week of Christmas and the week after to see a drop off in the listings. In fact, last year we saw 65. That's actually less than the 82 that we had this week. So again, less listings coming on during the holidays is completely normal. And I wouldn't expect for the inventory or the amount of listings really to pick up until January. We may see kind of mid to late January, a initial push for the spring inventory I've been talking with many people that are considering listing end of January, beginning of February, end of February, kind of trying to get a jump start on the spring market here in 2024. So I would assume that other agents are also having some of those similar conversations. Um, as far as price reductions, we had 34 price reductions over the last week in King and Snohomish County, down from 98 the previous week. Last year we had 72. So considerably fewer price reductions, which is normal. We've been talking about that here recently, how there are fewer and fewer price reductions in the Seattle housing market. A lot of houses are selling for the asking price or really close to it and a lot quicker than they were at the same time last year. As far as pending sales go, last year we had 321 pending sales. This Christmas week we had 385 this year, so more pending sales. That is down from the previous week of 468. But again, it's pretty normal to see less activity during the Christmas week. Although I mentioned I had this one client get under contract and I'm still working on negotiating another one that we started on before Christmas. So hopefully we'll have another one here for this week. Now sold listings, exactly the same as last year, 281, but down week over week from 395. And I mentioned that the market has been picking up earlier in this update. And a big factor is that mortgage rates have been coming down. So mortgage interest rates, maybe a few months back, were in the low to mid eights. And now we're starting to see them come down re relatively dramatically, I would say. And we're seeing this week, um, and as of today, 1227, we're seeing that mortgage rates on Mortgage News Daily's site are 6.61% which is slightly down from last week's update and almost the same, 6.54, so just a tiny bit more than the same week last year in 2022. Last year, we were headed into higher rates in 2023. And this year, I think we are headed in the opposite direction. I think we're heading towards 
lower mortgage rates in 2024. It's a guess at this point of where we might end up. Some are seeing maybe the low to mid fives. Others are saying that we might see rates even into the fours again. If rates do come down to 5% or even anywhere near that, we're going to see things picking up relatively quickly in the housing market. It affects the affordability dramatically for people that are looking to buy. And that brings more buyers in that maybe couldn't afford to into the market. And it also brings back buyers that have been sitting on the sidelines here for a while, waiting for the rates to come down, for those payments to be a little bit more affordable, and maybe even be incentivized to swap out that lower rate to make the jump into the next house. So as we wrap up, 2023 here for the Seattle Housing Market Watch. I think we've seen quite the roller coaster with interest rates. That's been a huge thing that we've seen this year. I think we've seen prices come up, come down a little bit, but really end the year in King and Snohomish County higher than where we were at the same time last year. And as we head into 2024, things are looking like they're going to continue to pick up and heat up in the Seattle housing market. Thanks so much for tuning into this week's Seattle Housing Market Watch. If this update was valuable for you, please consider subscribing to the channel for more updates like this. And if I can bring value to your personal real estate journey in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out.